All right, this video is going to be a quick demo and recap on um, over-dimensioning, specifically duplicates and chain dimensions. So as you are dimensioning in fusion and, or notability, it doesn't really matter, but uh, a couple common mistakes that we are seeing. Remember, if you have, we'll say we'll do a width or length dimension here. If I have a dimension here and here, in this case, it's the overall width or length, that is a duplicate. I don't need it in both views. I need it in one of the two, not both. Right, so in this case, it doesn't really matter which one I delete. I like to keep my width dimensions on my front view in most cases, so I would delete the, my one from the top. Okay. Same goes for the dimension of this cutout feature. If I add that 0.75 here, I don't need it here. That would be a duplicate again. I like to keep these, I like to keep my width dimensions or really all my dimensions if I can within one view. Not always possible, but if I have width or length dimensions, I like to keep it within like just my front view or just my top view. Um, not really split between them. Quick reason, if I'm trying to figure out what some of these dimensions are, if I'm physically machining or making this part, or if I'm making infusion, I like to be able to just look at one view and see all my necessary dimensions. I don't need to look at my front and top view to get all my information. We're also seeing this where we might have this dimension included. Remember, this is now chained dimensioned and it's over dimensioned. Where I have 0.75 plus 1.25 would give me 2. You have to assume people can do math, so I would not need one of those two dimensions. It doesn't matter which one I get rid of. I like the baseline dimension from my left side. Therefore, I would keep it this way. Same goes for height, right? If I go and I give my overall height here of one inch, if I were to place it here, that is a duplicate. Or if I were to place it all the way on the right side here, again, a duplicate. This is all showing the same thing. It's just showing the same thing four times. Therefore, I don't need all of them. I just need one of those one dimensions. Uh, preferably, one that's between the views. So either this dimension here or this dimension because it's between my front and right side view. Uh, again, I like to try to keep as many dimensions on one view as possible as long as it's clean looking. So I'm gonna delete the one off the right side view. Also, I can then dimension the height of this feature here. I do have to place it off on the left here um, because one, I can't dimension to a hidden line here. And then two, uh, I don't want this extension line crossing through my part like you see here. All right, I don't like to have that, so if I follow my guidelines, that dimension goes here. Okay, so again, if I were to place it here, I would be very quickly dimensioning to a hidden line, and that is a no-no. All right, and remember for depth, um, I can do my dimension for overall depth here or here, this is the same thing. I only need one of those, I don't need both. Okay, one or the other, either one is okay. Like I said for my other dimensions, I'm actually gonna keep it on my top view. Here's the reason. The additional dimension I need is either from here to here or from here to here. But if I do that, I dimension to a hidden line and then again, that's a no-no. So. If I delete both of these, I can place all my depth dimensions on my top view. All right, so all my depth dimensions are my top view. I don't need them on my right side view. And I know there's no dimensions on here. You don't always need dimensions on every single view. In some cases, you might need to place one there. In other cases, you don't need to include it, but you do need to include that the image of the view so we can show that geometry. All right, so make sure as you dimension, um, you again, you're paying attention to that you don't have any uh, duplicates, and then your chain dimension. You're not chain dimensioning some of these, where again that might look like this here, where I chain dimension for the total overall, in this case depth or dimension.